Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The second part of the chapter Meat, Fish, and Poultry is here. Connective tissue and its organization. The four categories of uh, material that are abundant in the connective tissue of meat are either pure coprotein or conjugate protein compounds. These are collagen, elastin, reticulin, and gram substances. Collagen is uh, the most important substance out of all these. It is of importance in meat because it is fibrous protein found in the structural sheets both within and between muscles. It is rather complex protein that contains strands of tropocollagen. What is tropocollagen? It is a fibrous protein consisting of three strands twisted together and containing large amounts of glycine, proline and hydroxyproline. Proline and hydroxyproline are involved in primary structure of the strand of tropocollagen. By the way, hydroxyproline is a major component of the protein collagen and plays a key role in the stability of the collagen triple helix. Both of them accounts for the fibrous nature. Pyrolidin ring is organic ring structure that contains one atom of nitrogen, which is linked to another amino acid. Through amino acid favors the formation of linear fibrous protein molecule. So, the another unique aspect of the chemical composition of tropocollagen is that it contains a large amount of the extremely simple amino acid, which is glycine. Elastin is yellow connective tissue occurring in limited amounts intramuscularly and in somewhat greater concentrations in deposits outside the muscle. During cooking, elastin is resistant to chemical change. The rubbery character of elastin accounts for its name. The two structural contributors are desmosine and isodesmosine. The gram substances are undifferentiated matrix of plasma proteins and glycoproteins in which two fibrous molecules of collagen and elastin are bound. They are low in glycine and proline. Reticulin is connective tissue protein associated with fatty acid, which is myristic acid. Again, let's have a look on the organization of the connective tissue, which we have already done in detail in our last lecture. The innermost layer is endomycium, which is very delicate layer found between the tissue. Perimycium is the middle layer bundle of several fibers to form a thicker fibrous bundle. While the outer layer is epimycium, surrounding an entire muscle means many bundles of bundles of fiber. These all structures form the muscle. Lipids occur in muscle tissue and also in fatty deposits or fat depots. The fatty acid found most abundantly in the triglycerides in the fat depots are oleic acid, palmitic, and stearic. In the cells, the lipid and lipid-related compounds include cholesterol, glycolipids, phospholipids. These lipid components are deposited in fat cells in the matrix of connective tissue, primarily collagen. The presence of fat contributes to the juiciness and flavor of meats, and it is also of interest from the perspective of nutrition. The fat of beef contains high content of saturated fat, long chain fatty acid. It is different from other kinds of meat like lamb or various types of poultry and fish. 
Nutritional concerns regarding the composition of fat in flesh foods are generated interest in the content of omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are particularly abundant in fish oils. Changes in fats during cooking or storage can affect the flavor and aroma of the food. Phospholipids are particularly susceptible to chemical changes. Oxidative density may increase with the presence of phospholipids. Chemical changes may occur as a result of high temperatures in deep fat frying and broiling, particularly if the time is extended. Let's look into the summary of the muscle organization in red meat. First of all, the structural components and organization into muscle is myofilamin, which is thick, that is myosin, and thin, which is pectin. Then, sacromere, which is organized myofilaments that form bands, Z-lines, I-band, H-band, and A-band. Then myofibril, which are made up of sacromeres and myofilaments. Then fibers, which are made up of myofibrils and sacroplasm. Also bundles of fibers and muscle. The binding components were sacrolima, endomycium, which is between the fiber. Sacrolema is the one that encases the fiber. Perimycium, which surrounds the bundle of fibers. And epimycium, which surrounds many bundles of fibers to encase a muscle.